Hey YouTube, it's Juan here with Tinker Garage and today I'm bringing you somewhat of a review of something that I installed in my house. Um, I installed a CCTV uh, camera system in my house um, just for extra security. I kind of wanted to show you um, the, not, not really show you the install because it's super simple to install, but just kind of review of the product itself. Um, I actually installed it about six months ago and I didn't do a review on it because I didn't think I was going to post videos on YouTube, but I kind of got the itch. Um, I did have an issue with it and I had to send it um, back to the company. Actually, the DVR system here had to send it because the um, actual hard drive fried on me. Um, thank God it was under warranty. The only bad issue, or the only issue I had is that I had to pay for shipping, which actually wasn't too bad because it was going to California. Um, and it was like 16 bucks. But <clears throat> the system that I installed in my house, just wait one second. All right, guys, so the system that I installed in my house, it is the Swan Pro Series HD 1080p. As you can see, there's a bunch of cameras that I'm going to use, and I didn't use all of them. So you can see I have, there's eight cameras. You have your DVR set up. Um, your apps, you can connect to your phone, so you can look at it when you're away. It is a two terabyte system. Supposedly, they're waterproof. And... It's literally a plug and play system. And what I mean by plug and play, as you guys can see, sorry, sorry for the wiggles. So this is the camera. I ended up installing seven cameras out of the eight. This is actually all metal construction. That looks like that's a gasket there. Um, I never actually pulled apart to see down, all the way down there to see if that's actually covered with the gasket. It looks like it is. But this is all metal construction, and these are 1080p. So at night, these are awesome. These actually pick up really well. Um, they have the the power and the video connectors, which I actually really like also, because they're just a twist and connect. Which, sorry guys, I'm, tripod's not the, oh, it's actually a really good tripod, I just, the operator isn't that great. I know that's me. Sorry, I'm getting the whole Blitter Witch scene there going, but. So, like I said, you have your power, which are the red video connector, which is a blue with the screw adapter. So simple, so, so simple. So what you end up finding the location, you have your holes, it actually comes with a, a a paper template where you can put it screw your holes depending if you're going to the drywall or depending if you're going to the ceiling or your rafters or wherever you're gonna put it um, you have to unscrew that to actually get your pitch and your angle right um, but super simple so like I said I only installed seven cameras because um, it covered up the majority of the area that I wanted covered um, so like I said just plug Literally plug and twist. Plug the other side to the DVR system, which is this, and you're good to go. Literally plug and play. So it comes with it, it's the seven cameras. You get seven of these, which are 60 feet, so we're plenty enough room. You get a wired mouse, and that connects to your DVR. Um, so you can change all the settings, set everything up in the system. You have your internet cable, you have your HDMI cable, and your power source. So your power source. And then you actually have two other power sources for your cameras alone, which I don't have. Like I said, I already pre-installed all this. Um, to, oh, I, um, sorry. I pre-installed this about six months ago before I started making any type of videos. Um, this is just kind of a review of the product. Um, owner's manual there. Um, what I did upgrade were the HDMI cable and the internet cable. A um, couple tips. If you're gonna have a home security system, you don't wanna put it where it's visibly seeable or visible, I guess. It's where if somebody's breaking into your home and they steal this, there goes all your footage and all your evidence. So just kind of a tip is you might wanna hide this. Um, I hid mine. Um, um, just so that wouldn't happen, but there's always going to be a blend. So, All right. 
right? So, but like I said, it comes with these, these power sources. These power sources are what goes to your DVR and also goes to power your, your cameras. These aren't that long at all. Um, maybe six feet. So depending on the area you're going to put them, if you don't have a power outlet to reach, literally, I'm 6'1". So as you can see, my wingspan, and it's not even, it's a little bit more than half. So four feet, maybe five feet of cable. So like I said, depending on where you're going to put it, and if you're going to hide it, you're going to have to run either another outlet to it, or you're going to have to run an extension cord, or like I said, you're going to have to run something to power it. <clears throat> so the issue I had with it is my hard drive went out. Um, the tech support said that if you have multiple of these power units going to one outlet, there's a possibility that there's not going to be enough amperage going to the DVR, which can throw it out and actually go make it go out of whack. So <clears throat> one of the tests they had me do was switch different outlets and retest it. Well, still didn't work. I was still reading zero on the hard drive. So <clears throat> that just means it was fried. Um, but again, complain too much. The the tech help was actually really, really good. And they, they made me do a bunch of steps, maybe like 10 or 15 steps to see, just to double check to make sure that it wasn't just operator error um, instead of system error. Um, but then make you do all these steps. You, get, you create a claim, you know, you you ship it, You they email you a claim for it. So you put it all in the box, so they ship it out. They send me a brand new one back. So I really can't complain. It's under warranty. Um, like I said, it was six months ago, so hopefully this lasts more than six months. Um, like I said, I upgraded the internet cable and I upgraded the HDMI cable. I got longer cables because, like I said, I hid mine because for any reason, if anybody breaks into my house um, and I record it, I'm going to want to be able to record what they look like, if they use the vehicle, um, so as much evidence as I can to catch anybody that does it. So, but like I said, I hid mine, so I had to get extended cables for all that. I had to run extended cables for the power supplies. Um, another pain in the butt was a wired mouse. So if you hide yours, and it's in a good area to where you gotta go adjust settings. I'm not saying you have to hide it, but just a recommendation. Just saying. Same thing, four feet, maybe five feet, five and a half, not six feet, I'm six one. Nope, like I said, nope, so. But there's a problem, there's a solution. You're like, what's that? There's no wire. It's a wireless mouse. Amazon, awesome. So I ordered this from Amazon, got it. It's a wireless <clears throat> mouse. It's usually, it's literally a little, sorry. Actually, you'll see it right there on the very back. So you have two USB connections, your internet connection, power it, your video audio, I'm sorry, power video, HD, HDMI, your monitor, I can't remember the name of that one. Your VGA, so it's on professional, your VGA connection, and then all your twist and plug connectors, I don't know what those are called. So, but, so I got a wireless, stuck that bad boy in there, keep this to one of the rooms that I run the HDMI cable to, plug into the TV, all I have to do is click, click, click different settings and I can go check the cameras whenever I need to so I don't have to go on my phone because sometimes the phone can lag a little bit or the iPad can lag. Um, so you go and you'll, you'll go into it and it takes a second for it. Well, this is directly hard drive or hard wired to the TV. So I go click, click, click and I can pull it up and I can see what's going on. So, or if I have to go and adjust anything, it's literally within couple clicks instead of having to go all the way up there or wherever you hide it trying to find the mouse and then trying to see if you can see the TV you're plugged into and trying to find the settings but yeah but it's a cool system it, it's literally plug-and-play um, doesn't take anything to get to get it going at all hardest part was getting my fat butt in the attic to run all the wires so I wanted to hide all the wires um, 
and not falling through the rafters. I'm 6'1", 260 pounds, so that's a lot of weight on the rafters. That's what my wife was really afraid of, that she's gonna see two feet coming through a room. So, ha, proved her wrong, didn't fall through. But, <clears throat> like I said, really cool, really easy to put in. If you're one of those people that are a little paranoid like I am, uh, want a little extra security, definitely recommend it. Um, really simple to play. But like I said, I did have that issue where the ter the hard drive went out of me and I had to get it pretty much replaced. So so hopefully it lasts longer than six months, but I won't know. And if that's the case, then there will be another video of me installing a new hard drive. So win-win, uh, I guess, right? You get a video. So, But if you have any comments, leave them, on, uh, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, I will link all this on below down down below also so you can kind of see where I got it the prices you got it I believe I paid like 760 for it or 780 I think I got it on sale um, like I said the apps aren't too bad make sure you download the right app I downloaded the wrong app on my laptop and it doesn't look too good so I have to um, erase it delete it and reinstall the right app um, but it's so simple so easy to use so and it's just that extra security that extra peace of mind I guess you could say but like I said, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Remember, I'm not an expert. I just like to DIY. I like to tinker in my garage. Um, remember, if you can imagine it, you can build it. So thank you for watching. You guys have a good night.